and then it's got a little like um you know hooky thing at the end hey guys welcome back so i got my june favorites here for you today so i'm gonna do like i normally do and i will quickly run through my overall friday favorites and then i do have a skincare favorite some fashion favorites a random favorite and then i do have a fooey to share with you so Let's get to it. For overall Friday favorites for eyes, these are my standout favorites, the Magic by Juvia's and then the BH Cosmetics Solar Flare Palette. If I had to choose between them, this one, but I did really love this one too. For cheeks, I was really enjoying my Benefit California and also these two new ones, um, two new cheek products from Ofra. They have three new, three new blushes, um, but I would say the standout for me is Mai Tai. And then they have a new highlighter, which is Bali. These are beautiful, they blend like a dream. They're so like summery and amazing. They're just beautiful. For lips, I'm gonna have to go with Maybelline's Warm Me Up just because this was one that kind of like got lost in my collection and I wore it again and just really fell in love with it. It's just a beautiful nude. I love the formula of the Maybelline lipsticks. I love their price point. I've gotten to the point where I really like the scent too. Yeah just because it's kind of like the scent of Maybelline lipsticks, which I love. So I love the Maybelline lipsticks. So now I've started to love the scent. Hope that makes sense. So anyway, that's my overall lip favorite, Maybelline Warm Me Up. So my fooey for the month. Now take this for what it's worth because I literally just used this one day, but it was really bad the day that I used this. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. So I wore this on a day, first off, I love the packaging. Like it's very weighty, it has like little like, you know, water droplet looking stuff on it. And it's just really beautiful packaging. So the packaging is really pretty. And I've heard great things about this from other people. So I wore this one day that I thought I was gonna go swimming. I didn't end up going swimming, but I was wearing this and just kind of like vegging on the couch most of the day and went to walk in the bathroom, looked in the mirror, and oh my goodness, I look like I had a second set of eyelashes, like a set of falsies glued to my eyelid. I had so much smudging with this, which is so strange because it's waterproof. Now, y'all know if you watch my channel, most mascaras smudge on me. Like almost all of them get up on my eyelid, Probably, really just honestly, the CoverGirl mascaras are the only ones that don't smudge up on my lid, at least on some level. So all of them smudge on me. But this was like a really high level of smudging, a lot of smudging. And I actually just kind of like giggled out loud. When I saw it, I was like, what? Because it was so bad. And it's a waterproof mascara. So I don't know. Um, I mean, who knows? Maybe there was like some other factor involved that I'm not remembering, but I mean, I was wearing a primer. I wasn't wearing like really anything different with my makeup, so I don't know. I'm thinking it was this, but who knows? It was just funny, kind of ironic, but it was a one day fooey, I would say. So this is my fooey that I have to mention to you, but really it's just based on one day. A body care combo favorite was this right here. So I love the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. I wear it in light. It's leg makeup. It's amazing. It's like foundation for your legs. It just smooths everything out and hides um, like uneven sunless tanning. Um, I don't know, like discoloration on your legs, veins. It just kind of like helps smooth everything out. So I love it, but I like to mix it with a lotion because it's super, super thick. And just in my opinion, I don't like it by itself. It just looks too opaque. So I mix it with a lotion. But, and normally I like, I've used it with a lot of different lotions, but I tried it with the Boom Boom Cream. Oh my goodness, it was so pretty with that because this has a little bit, and I really hadn't noticed this until using it with the airbrush legs, that this has a little bit of like a shimmer to it, like a, just a, and it's so little, I really only notice it in the sun. It just, I think that's why it looks so pretty on the skin is that it really just has that little bit of a sheen shimmer to it. So it just looks really beautiful on the skin. So mixing it with this, it just makes your legs look amazing. So love them together. Something to notice about, to note about the Boom Boom Cream is it has really strong fragrance to it. I think it smells amazing. Like it's a really good fragrance. It's kind of like a, I don't know, vanilla, almondy, 
coconutty, kind of perfumey too, sort of a scent. Like it's a really nice scent, but it's really strong. So if you're sensitive to scents, this is probably gonna be too strong for you. But I'm pretty sensitive to scents though, and I'm okay with it. I think because I like the scent of it. And it does tone it down a little bit to use less of this and like mix it with something else. So anyway, this combo right here is like so good. Love them together. Then for skincare this month, I received this through Influencer to get to try. So I've been trying it out all month and I definitely have some thoughts on it. This is the L'Oreal Triple Power Deep Acting Moisturizer. So it says Revita Lift Moisturizer. It says repairs wrinkles, re-firm, re-densify. Pro Xylane Plus Hyaluronic Acid. Let's see if it says anything else. It says aging skin requires more intensive action to help restore its youthful look. With age, wrinkles become more prominent, skin loses its resilience, and the face, neck, and jawline begin to sag. This luxurious lightweight cream helps transform the look of aging skin by working both on skin surface and penetrating skin surface by combining hyaluronic acid, a proven wrinkle fighter, with our highest concentration of pro xylane, an exclusive anti-aging super ingredient developed by L'Oreal Paris Laboratories. And then it goes into more details about like repairing the wrinkles, refirming, redensifying. Okay, so got this through Influencer and while I was really excited and thankful, I wasn't like super duper hopeful that it would work for me because I've just never really found any skincare at the drugstore that I love. Y'all know I love me some drugstore makeup, but skincare, I just haven't found a lot of like standouts that I love. But I tried this out. It said to do a 14 day trial evening and morning. I just used it in the evening, but I love this. And I'm so excited about it because I'm like, it's finally something that I can recommend from the drugstore that I feel like really works. Like I could tell within the first couple of nights of using it, like smoother, um, just better looking. I feel like I'm so bad at describing what skincare does on my skin. I just say, it makes my skin look better. It looks smoother. I don't know. Same kind of thing. I don't really know how to like fully describe what I noticed. I definitely noticed smoother for sure. Um, and just more youthful looking. Like I know that's not real descriptive, but that's just what I noticed. It seemed to really hit on those things. Like definitely it says repairs the wrinkles. I could definitely notice the smoothing on, cause I have some fine lines here. Um, and then even just like the texture of my skin, I think it was helping with that as well, just to smooth everything. So this is what it looks like. So you can see I've, I've definitely made like a pretty significant dent in it. I think, I can't remember how long I've had this. It's definitely been the 14 days, maybe even three weeks. So anyway, I've been using it consistently every single night and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, it's kind of like, like it's really hydrating feeling. The only negative I would say about it is that I feel like I use quite a bit because I'm used to using oils on my face and my face feeling really like saturated with skincare. This takes a little bit more um, like blending, like it really sinks into the skin quickly and a little bit doesn't seem to really go a long way. So that's one thing I've noticed about it is that I seem to use quite a bit of it. But I really like it. It does have like a light sort of a scent but it's, it's not overpowering. It's not super duper heavy. I don't know that it has fragrance in it. It, it may, but if it does, it may not be high on the ingredient list. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there is fragrance in it, but it's not like the Lori, um, the Lancome stuff that I've used, which was really strong. So anyway, I'm babbling. I feel like it really does work. I love it. It's at the drugstore. And I'm pleasantly surprised and really impressed with it. And then I have a random favorite that I have no idea how I'm going to show this to you, but I have a workout favorite, which is like totally different for me because sometimes I get questions about like what my workout or fitness routine is. And to be honest, I really haven't had one until the last about two months. And I'm just like so excited that I'm actually sticking with something. And this has been it. So this is a bar. It's called the Easy Shaper. I'm banging it into the walls. So it's a long bar and then it has like a resistance band on each side of it. And then it's got a little like, um, you know, hooky thing at the end. Don't know how to describe that, like a little loop at the end. So you can do a lot of different things with this. To be honest, I don't, I was like, I was trying to find it 
surely you can find it somewhere to still get it, but, or even if you could just find like resistance bands or something to use, but I just wanted to share what I've been doing. So I, I've had this for a long time, the Easy Shaper. My parents got this for me off of HSN years ago. It's Tony Little's um, like workout gear stuff. And I'm finally starting to use it. And I'm doing it like three times a week, minimum, four times is my goal, which isn't a lot, but it's something. It's more than I used to do. And it takes me about, about around 30 minutes to do it. Um, I follow the DVD. Well, I originally started following the DVD. I do the total body transformation one. Um, so I started out following the DVD and then I kind of like learned the different exercises enough that I just do it myself and I watch like Real Housewives while I'm doing it. So makes the time go by really fast. Doesn't feel like I'm working out. Um, and I just like count out a certain number of reps. So I do that, the total body transformation with the Easy Shaper. And then I add on, um, I do some reverse crunches. I do um, like the, you know, six inch leg lift kind of thing to work your lower abs. Um, I sometimes do planks if I'm really feeling you know, I don't know, super exercise-y. And then what else do I add? Oh, I do some like butt exercises, like leg lift kind of things. So, and I just found those on Instagram. So I pro I'm not gonna do a workout video because I, that's just not my thing and I'm definitely not an expert, but I was just excited to share this because it's something easy. It's some, well, not super easy. It's definitely a workout, but it's like, it feels doable. Doesn't take forever and I can do it in my living room and watch Real Housewives. So that's definitely a standout favorite for me for this month and even last month too. But I wanted to wait until I've been doing it long enough to share it with you. And then really quickly some fashion favorites because I feel like I've been babbling for forever. So I've got these really fancy, beautiful sunglasses that I have been loving. These are from Illustiva. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I don't even know if I'm fancy enough to be able to say that word, but this is what the box looks like. Really beautiful. Milk Makeup sent these to me with, I think it was with a highlighter that it came with. So this is what they look like. So they're kind of, I'm trying not to like blind you with my lights, but they're really like a cool shape to them. They're kind of like, I don't know. I have a picture on my Instagram that you'll be able to see them better, but they're like circular shaped and just kind of really like, I don't know, a little bit hippie rocker sort of a vibe to them. So I love them. I think they're so cool looking. When I first got them, I was like, oh, they're different than anything else that I have. But I love, they've got little like, um, like, oh, I don't know, screw rivet kind of things in them, which are just cool looking and they're matte and they just have like a rocker vibe to them and I love them. Um, some shirts, I feel like a broken record with these. So I'm just gonna really quickly say, I love these shirts from Target. I talked about them a million times. I've showed them on Instagram a bajillion times. I can't stop wearing them. I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. They're cute, they're cropped, they're, but not too cropped. Cropped, but not too cropped, like a perfect level of cropped. So I just, I love them. And then this ruffle top from Nordstrom, I think is adorable. I did size up in this. I think that helps it like lay better across your chest area because I feel like the smaller sizes, they were, it was kind of like catching and just not very flattering. But if I, if you size up, I think that will help it kind of like just lay right. And then it's really, really cute. So they had this in black and gray. So I got the gray. So I love that. Fashion favorites. All right guys, so those are all my June favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving in the month of June, either um, makeup, skincare, body care, hair care, fashion, whatever. I would love to know your favorites. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.